speed control. Let's touch on that just a little bit. And I'm curious your thoughts as well. As we know, version 14 has eliminated, removed, and revoked the speed control experience from the end user. So prior versions, as we most likely already know, you had speed offset. It was a percentage of allocated uh, values that you, the user, can set that would tell FSD you want to go above or be below a certain uh, percentage of this posted signage speed limit in any given area at any given time. Now, I used it a lot. I don't know about you guys, but it was something that with 13.2.9, and again, that build was fantastic for me on my Hardware 4 uh, car. I've, I had that build for probably six to nine months, somewhere in that window. It was, it was a while before they released another update. Um, but I love that build and I used max speed offset a lot. So when I learned that with version 14, speed control was going to be removed and essentially just disappeared from the UI entirely, I got very nervous. Early access users, when they first launched V14, confirmed that this theory was true. The first one I saw was Devin from Canada FSD. He's a great channel on YouTube as well. And um, he confirmed it on a live stream and I was nervous. I was waiting for version 14 for a while because I'm not part of the early access group yet. I really would like to be, um, but not yet. And so I was nervous. I was kind of waiting and anticipating version 14. Okay, then I got version 14 and immediately everything changed, right? Now we have a couple different new driving profiles and I think they did that to sort of uh, accommodate for the loss of speed control since now your speed is tightly coupled with the speeding profiles. And I can tell, when I, when I change it from uh, hurry mode to standard mode, I can tell the car uh, lay on the brakes a little bit or slow down almost instantly. That's not something that used to happen with 13 and late versions of 12. That was never a thing. You would change the profiles, but you never really knew if it actually did anything. But now with version 14, it's almost instant. And again, I think they did that because they wanted to accommodate for the loss of speed control. And because it's now tightly coupled with the profiles, you can really see an instant change of speed when you change those profiles. All right. Now, that being said, I was afraid. I was nervous. I didn't know how to react. Here's what I think now in 2026, January, being with version 14 for a couple of months now. I don't know. I don't recall exactly when we all got it, but it's been a while. It's been enough for me to have a pretty solid opinion on this build, right? On the whole version 14 stack. And by the way, sorry, I didn't mention it earlier. This is 14.2.2.2 currently. I absolutely love it. I don't miss speed control. I don't miss the ability of having an offset. I don't feel as if I even need it. That's the big thing. I genuinely don't even feel like I need it. It does a great job. It really does a great job. Now, there are many people online, other content creators, and even just you guys too, my subscribers on my channel, uh, there's a couple different main complaints. Of course, we have navigation. Um, you know, of course, we have speed. And a lot of you guys on my channel, on my comments on the videos, you say, I miss speed control. Bring it back. I really miss it and I bring it back. In fact, I did a video dedicated on this topic when we were all waiting for version 14, asking my community what you think. And people were also very nervous, very upset, and very skeptical. And uh, turns out people still carry that feeling into version 14 and they still miss it today but i'm not part of that group i don't know what it is i don't know i don't know if it's because of areas you know that the what i've learned with full self-driving is region by region experiences differ significantly right and so i think that in in my area i can confidently tell you it's fantastic i don't miss it i don't need the ability to have it anymore because these speed profiles does a great job. I'm in chill. Let me bump this up to hurry. Look at this, 60, 61, 62, immediate increase of speed, right? In about four seconds, we gain 10 miles per hour and still counting. And so that's what I mean. It's almost an instant speed change. Now, a lot of people are complaining that hurry is going too fast for their liking and they can't have that full control. That's what that, that's what really it boils down to, right? You don't have full control anymore as opposed to previous versions with that max offset value. You had absolutely full control of how fast or slow your vehicle was going. 
But now you really just have to kind of rely on the profiles. Here's the thing. If you want to go the speed limit and nothing above the speed limit, in my opinion, I feel like Chill and Sloth are pretty good at maintaining that, right? Chill might go a slightly above the speed limit, but not by much. Sloth, which I, to be honest with you, hardly ever use, it, it tends to never go above the speed limit. In fact, I think it might even go a little below. And so you have that, you, you at least have that control. It's not like they removed it and yanked it off of our feet entirely and said, no, you're going to go exactly what we think <laughs> is appropriate for the specific area that you're in, right? So they, they still allowed for at least that type of control, right? In terms of just not going over the, the, the speed limit if you don't want to at all using chill and slaw. Okay, now all that being said, that is my perspective in, in my area. I don't miss it. I don't need it. And like I said, it's been fantastic for me. You, you, we all have to remember as well, whether this is a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. This is up for interpretation. This is up for sort of, um, you know, your own analyzation of what you think about this, what I'm about to say. I think the reason they removed it, and I say I think because it was never like officially confirmed. There were engineers on X from Tesla AI team, from the Tesla AI team that were sort of uh, hinting at why they did this. And, and one of them said that they removed speed offset control from the users because they don't want the user, the customers, to interact with FSD at all. All they want is you to click one button and have FSD do the whole thing. Why would they do that? Most likely, it's because they want to further strengthen the models when it comes to a fully autonomous environment. Think unsupervised, think robo-taxi, think cyber cab. When you're in that type of uh, vessel, potentially even without a steering wheel, i.e. the cyber cab, you don't really have a button to control speed, right? Um, now, you can argue even if it doesn't have a steering wheel, you can still program the car from your uh, for, for what you like in terms of speed, right? I agree with that. I, I have to admit, even if you don't have a steering wheel, if I'm in a cyber cab with no controls, no pedals, no wheel, I still would... It, it would be nice to know that I can control the speed. But again, going back to the profiles, I would just use the profiles. They've been working great for me. I would use them in a cyber cab. I would use them in a robo taxi, right? If you're in the back, you have that screen. Just select the, the profile you want. And um, it seems like it does a fine job. But again, I really think it depends on the area um, is, is the way I'm boiling everything down to. And that goes universally speaking for any feature. With full self-driving, it depends on the area. One person will have a significantly different experience on the same car, same model, same software update, same stack as the guy next to him, or not next to him, but the guy across the country driving in a different region. So I think that's what it comes down to. That's my thoughts. I'm curious what you guys all think down below. I would love to refresh the uh, the comments because again that last video i did that was a while ago that was a uh, that was months ago that was when we were all waiting for version 14 so how do you guys feel now how do you feel today is it something that you still significantly miss do you think that the speeding profiles with version 14 have accommodated for the loss of max speed control in other words are you seeing positive experiences with the speed profiles or are you thinking that the speed profiles aren't cutting it for you it's either going too fast or too slow i imagine most of you guys are going to say it's going too fast um and so i'm curious i just kind of want to reevaluate and refresh the the mentality uh in terms of what you guys think so with that being said guys thank you so much for watching my videos uh i'm documenting the journey of transitioning to a driverless uh, world. That's what I'm doing. And I invite you to join me. If you do enjoy this type of video, go ahead and subscribe down below. Again, I appreciate all of you guys for, for tuning in and watching all these videos. I'll see you in the comment section down below as always. Thanks so much. Have a great rest of the day. Bye-bye.